What is going on guys and girls? My name is James and welcome back today to Roblox. How are we doing everyone? Welcome back, welcome back. Today of course it is time to jump back into Bee Swarm Simulator and today's video, something a little different. So over the years and a bunch of updates, on it always likes to add these like secret areas of the map with hidden free items for us to find. So I thought it'd be fun today to take a look at 10 of these locations and it's a chance to see if you are a Bee Swarm Pro or not. So if you've got all 10 of them, GG. But there might be a few that you've missed and today we're gonna take a look at these locations so it should be a good one and today also is a very good one because this video is kindly sponsored by PUBG Mobile so we have all played blade ball here in Roblox before but now, great news, we can also play it in PUBG Mobile's UGC mode, World of Wonder new update. The gameplay is wild, fast paced and super fun, with all the dodges, ducks, dips, dives and dodges to test your true skills in ball based battle. There are a bunch of awesome and competitive new maps to play on, with modes such as 8 player brawl, 6 vs 6 or points only matches with unlimited revives. When it's time to wind down after a big ranking up sesh, there are also much chiller places to visit, like the Freezing Tower Assault Arena. It's free to play and available on both iOS and Android, and as well as Blade Ball, there is also UGC mode, World of Wonder, Hide and Seek, Parkour, and much, much more. So, what are you waiting for? Go and give PUBG Mobile a download using my link in either the description section of this video or in the pinned comment below. Good luck, and go get them! Right, okay, so let's get started here with location number one, and we're gonna start off nice and straightforward and easy here in the starter zone. And of course, this is the sort of tent side maze, which is in the bottom corner here. So this one is a really easy one. There's actually two items in the maze itself, but I'm gonna count it as one because they're super close. Now, if we go to the left-hand side and we follow the maze around and we follow it around and we follow it around and we follow it around, da 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 <laughs> we get ourselves a free ticket and then if we work our way back to the beginning which is here and instead of going left we go right and we just go around this corner here we turn left and there are some free jelly beans so that's location number one these were added a long time ago i think it was pretty much when jelly beans were introduced into the game however this is a special location because if we then turn to the right you can see behind this piece of glass a hidden star jelly so the big question is how do you get this jelly this this is one of my favorite locations and it is very very sneaky so location number two the secret star jelly basically if you start the game and you're a new player you are going to have to wait until you are level 35 in order to get this item so you've got to go here through the 35 b gate you've got to head into the petal shop and once you're in the middle here you simply just keep walking 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 boom hidden wall secret location chamber you've got to go down these steps here bloop, straight into this sort of swimming pool looking thing and then you can see you are now on the other side of the glass boom <laughs> you have this secret star uh, jelly location really cool one Ta -da! we're gonna stay here in the 35 b zone for this one uh, and i think this is like probably all of these came at like roughly the same amount of time now this one is actually really funny because um a lot of people got this one maybe some people got it by accident some people probably still don't even know this one exists. It's a really, really sneaky location, and it is up here in the coconut field. So I know what you're thinking. You might be thinking, James, yes, we know about the items inside the cave. Don't worry. We're going to go and check those in just a second. However, you see the coconut trees here? Well, if you jump up and you go here and you look up, ta-da! There it is! A free coconut just chilling in the coconut tree. This one is like a really nice hidden location. <laughs> You've got to do a little jump to kind of get it, and whoop! Oh, I've missed. I've missed. Coconut. Yes. 
<laughs> 10 coconuts from the coconut tree. Look at that. And as I mentioned here as well, of course, you do have the items inside the coconut shop. So more recently, actually, just like behind this area, there is a robo pass that was added. This wasn't there, obviously, uh, before the robo update, which was the previous year's big Beastmas update. So on it did actually drop in a few of these robo passes in and around on the map. This is just one little location here. However, you go to the coconut dispenser and you can see there that there is a little cutout right there. And then all you need to do is jump on your dispenser, jump down, and you have yourself a ticket, some jelly beans, and some enzymes, which we're going to claim all at once. Here we go, here we go, here we go, and da da da. <laughs> I always like that noise. I think what we'll do is we're going to count that as one location as well. Even though there are like three different items, they're still right next to each other. So, so far, so good. These ones are a little bit sort of more well known. However, the next one I think is probably one of the sneakiest ones that we have in the entire video. And this one is actually one that you can get relatively early on if you're fast enough. Mm. Okay, here goes nothing. So I've had to claim the hive to get my bees um, because we're going to have to do a little bit of fighting here with the werewolf. So this is, of course, located in the 15B zone. Um, and this one is, is really cool, actually. This one has been here for a really long time since probably like the first update of Bee Swarm. Uh, it was probably since there from day one. Um, um, but essentially it is actually inside the werewolf cave now we have like multiple areas and locations like this for example the spider cave which you can't physically get inside but the werewolf cave is hollow and it is a big long tunnel that goes through the only trick to this one is that you do need to have a bit of speed on your character otherwise you will get caught by monsters inside the cave you think <laughs> i'm not making it up watch this okay so i'm gonna go in here very slowly and if i'm really really slow and just sort of do this do this you can kind of see that i'm gonna get attacked can you hear them? And there you go. So the secret is, you've got to be quick. Now, hopefully this character is going to be fast enough. I'm going to just literally try and run as fast as I can. I can technically get some haste if I want to. And I'm going to use my glider. And we're just going to go for it. This is go, 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 go. Ah! <laughs> yes, there it is. Ta-da. So, oh, got me right at the end. Secret little spider there. But that is the location for a hidden golden egg. Probably one of my favorites. Okie dokies, next up, and we're gonna go and take a little fly here to the 30B zone, which uh, you can call it the 30B zone, you can call it on it land, you can call it the area where the lid may or may not at some point in the future be lifted, who knows? But there's actually like a bunch of things going in here for, for a place that doesn't really have very much. And it's actually the home of our next two hidden items. So the first one is um, quite a hidden one. I like this one a lot. So this was in the previous update, on it here added this big cog and these are your robo pass basically uh sort of dispensers so obviously you can get them for free or you can buy for tickets however if you take a little shuffle around the back you can see there that on a secret little um whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's a secret and it's a very dangerous ledge by the sounds of it. Look at that. Unbelievable. All right, let me try this one. <laughs> let me try this one again. Oh yeah, there's like a ticket here, but it's not particularly hidden, is it? So we can actually jump down onto this sort of ledge area and there, which is uh, quite a good one actually, da -da, we get ourselves a free broken drive. So just a bit of information about this, just because we're here, you might be a bit confused if you've never got this item before. Essentially, um, this is like the broken drive, which was part of the Beesmus update for 2022, 2023. Um, and if I remember correctly, it was like a science bear quest where you had to give him the broken drive to fix it, to then fix and activate Robo Bear for the Robo Challenge. Um, so basically, if you did that in Beesmus, um, uh, last year you don't have to bother with this your item will still be here however uh, this was created and put here for players who didn't do that beesmus update so this is the way now that they can activate their own robo bear even when beesmus update is not currently live so yeah that's the location very very cool actually on it thinks about everything and that's just one way of doing it however seeing as we're here and we're talking about on it you can actually see underneath on its platform if i go here right to the edge there is a dancing black bear do you see him? <laughs> he dances so majestically. He moves in the wind. He is dance personified, but he actually is the location of another secret item, and it is a diamond egg. So you can kind of see it loosely if I zoom in, but the only way of doing this genuinely is just flying down and seeing if you can hit it. So it's a bit of trial and error, but we're going to do our best here. And yeah, you just kind of need to jump off the edge, try and time it right, try and time it right. Yes! 
Oh, I missed. Okay, one more time. Well, there it is. Look. Do you see it? Take two. Take two. Take two. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. It's perfect. It's perfect. Yes. <laughs> So we get ourselves the diamond egg. So this is obviously like way back in the day, essentially. Um, so, you know, free gold egg inside the tunnel of the werewolf, diamond egg uh, next to the dancing bear. You know, these were when we didn't have things like gifted bees. We didn't have mythics. And we didn't have all these crazy cool things that we had right now. So this was like, eggs were pretty rare. Like, to, you know, to get like a free diamond egg was a big deal. So to have one in the map like that, I thought was really cool. Uh, yeah, really good location. Okay, next up, we're going to take another flight, but we are not going that way we are going this way because we roll into the star hall um so yeah this little cog thing very very interesting uh, we'll talk about that in another episode but yeah the cog has a lot of history when it comes to bee swarm however today we're gonna go into the star hall which has i think some of the most relaxing music in roblox i love it uh, very straightforward this one but you have all of your different amulets here uh, and all you need to do is just go behind the green final supreme star and then boom there are an ant pass a single ant pass <laughs> this is a good location the infamous gummy bear lair yeah this was one of my favorite places in the game back in the day when i used to be like a full white player as well i uh, used to come here a lot because you had to go and put your mask on and all that kind of stuff depending on what you were doing um so yeah i do miss coming to this place of course we need to activate it with gumdrops and inside the gummy bear lair with the uh <laughs> the very ominous music compared to the star hall we have a bunch of free hidden items so obviously something like the enzymes here are a little bit obvious however if you go and walk here and then you turn yourself to the right hand side boom behind the boots is Ta da! Oh, hang on. There we go. Some free glitter. Very nice. And then, of course, at the top here, we have another free star jelly. And the man himself, the man, the myth, the legend, Gummy Bear. Gummy soldiers unite. Look at him. So majestic. I've always loved this place. It's so cool. And unfortunately, the final location here for this episode. Once again, one of my favorites, one of the OG locations. And it is located inside the pineapple shop. So, this is like probably one of the first secret locations that people ever found in the game and on the surface it's actually not that obvious however you have the pro bear here if you jump behind him <laughs> you go behind his sign and there is a second hidden maze actually i think this is the original hidden maze and in here contain a bunch of items now i'm not gonna lie it is really difficult oh there we go bang that was a royal jelly you can't see much <laughs> the best way to do it is kind of go top down like this. It is really, really tight in here. So, and there are a few locations that don't actually have anything, but we did get ourselves a royal jelly here. I think this is the final bit. There it is. Boom. Ten sunflower seeds. Would you believe? <laughs> sunflower seeds and a royal jelly from behind the pro bear as a proper OG location. And there we have it. Ten locations that you may not have known which contain secret free hidden items oh and seeing as it's night time uh this wasn't actually on my list but we're gonna do a little bonus one here so this one is really sneaky and if you go into the dapper bear shop here you can see that there is the uh second hidden star jelly in this episode we saw the first one at the beginning or well, this is number two and once again the uh, the way to get this is is actually quite tricky so what you've got to do is you've got to come here to the side of the shop and then you've got to jump on these white little tiles but instead of going to the roof you want to try and make it onto this brown bit like so boom and then what you do is you walk around to this area and you can see here that there are two moons now the thing about these moons obviously and there's the same in other places in the maps these only glow and they're only activated at night so you can't do this in the daytime because you will fall through now this is a very tricky jump but you have to <laughs> It's a really hard jump. You have to jump on both of these moons. Oh, jeez. Let me try and get it. Yes. Yes. Okay. Oh, jeez. Don't fall. Don't fall. Ah. No. <laughs> right. Third time's the charm. Third time's the charm. Oh. Okay. There we go. There we go. Actually, really tricky. I'm not going to tell you how many times that took me. <laughs> but yeah, once you're around here on this side, you can just jump in here and then you find yourself at the back of the window and then boom, you get yourself the star jelly as well. So just a little bonus location. So there we have it. Thank you so much for watching. Did you guys find all of them? Please let me know in the comments as well. Like if you found them all or whatever, it would be, it would be interesting to see if you missed any. Uh, and unfortunately, that is about it for this episode. So once again, massive thank you to PUBG Mobile for sponsoring this video. The links are down in the description so please go and give it a download. Uh, I think you'll really enjoy playing and I will see you guys in the next video. So until then, thanks and see ya.